If a massive asteroid is headed on a direct trajectory towards Earth, here's how you'll know. On April 13th, 2029, which happens to be Friday the 13th, you're going to want to have this information handy. An 1,100-foot asteroid named Apophis will pass so close to the Earth that it'll be visible from the sky for some of the world. But no need to panic, the situation isn't dire, it's informative. Even though we're pretty confident it'll be a near miss, this asteroid will pass closer than 20,000 miles from the surface, which is closer than even some weather satellites. The truth is, asteroids hold a fascinating place in our existence. Big impacts are terrible threats to our lives and even to our species. But despite the possibility of mega asteroids causing an extinction level event like they did with the dinosaurs, direct impacts are extremely rare and irregular events. Of course, that doesn't stop the internet from flooding with incessant warnings of incoming threats and misleading doomsday headlines. To clear up the situation, we talked to NASA's planetary defense officer. And fear not, if a real don't look up situation were ever to happen, you'll know it from an official source, not doomsday slash scenario dot biz. First of all, it's important to know that NASA has never sounded the alarm about a dangerous asteroid bound to impact Earth or even a very worrisome approach and they would know. The Planetary Defense Office exists because at some point, a significant impact is mathematically inevitable, barring some technological progress that allows us to deflect an asteroid, which doesn't exist yet. And make no mistake, an asteroid hitting Earth could be a major event. On June 30th, 1908, a 120-foot asteroid entered the atmosphere and then blew up over forested Siberia. Called the Tunguska event, it mowed down trees and the resulting shockwave threw people 20 miles away into the air. In an urban area today, a blast like that could cause damage or even devastation. But NASA and other agencies would almost certainly detect it beforehand. In fact, objects much larger and more dangerous than the Tunguska rock are routinely detected by NASA and other agencies. NASA has spotted over 90% of rocks larger than 0.6 miles, and it's estimated that a roughly 6-mile-wide behemoth wiped out the dinosaurs, so we're unlikely to miss something similar. So what will happen when a threatening rock is actually en route to Earth and detected? There are generally two types of warnings, notification of a very close encounter and notification of a potential impact. A close encounter means a space rock isn't going to strike Earth, but NASA still thinks it's deserving of public attention. It could be as small as a 30-foot rock, or it could be something bigger like the Apophis asteroid flyby in 2029. Other people might spot the close encounter before NASA announces the news, since all known near-Earth trajectories are posted online. But that's okay. The agency will take at least a few hours to verify these trajectories before letting you know if you should break out your emergency rations or your telescope. If NASA detects a possible impact, something larger than around 30 feet across with a greater than 1% chance of hitting Earth, then things get serious. The Planetary Defense Coordination Office will give warnings to NASA to provide to the White House, Congress, and government agencies. Public warnings won't simply be in the form of a NASA press release, though. The White House would take the lead on any new information being released to the public and treat the situation as a national emergency event. From NASA's standpoint, a crucial part of this process is telling the White House and other government leadership not only that an impact is likely or possible, but what an impact will do. Many factors are at play, notably the size and composition of the object. While the Tunguska rock exploded in the sky, a larger asteroid can survive the plummet. 50,000 years ago, one of these landed in what is now Arizona and left a 600-foot crater, which today would decimate a city. If a sizable asteroid is ever destined for Earth, the folks at NASA will run thousands of simulations somewhat similar to weather or hurricane prediction to forecast where it's most likely to land. Luckily for us, most of Earth's surface is ocean, so there's a good probability that even if it does hit, it'll do so harmlessly into the water. Then again, with a big enough asteroid, that might not make a difference. But we've said it before, and we'll say it again. Don't panic. NASA discovers around 500 asteroids over 460 feet wide, enough to cause at least major regional destruction every year. And if that sounds scary to you, keep in mind, we're all still here, and NASA hasn't sounded the alarm. Yeah.